farm. My name is Seth and I'm a district technician with the Burley County Soil Conservation District. The Minokin Farm is a conservation demonstration farm. It was established in 2009 by a partnership between the Burley County SCD and NRCS. The purpose of the Minokin Farm is to provide an educational site to restore the health of the soil and move production egg towards sustainability and profitability through regenerative egg practices. Here out at the Monokan farm we have 10 12 acre fields for our cropping and grazing systems. We have a high tunnel where we produce most of our vegetable crops. We also have an outdoor garden where last year we planted a highly diverse milpa and our potatoes. We also have a pollinator garden to promote pollinator life and bring pollinators to the farm. We also have an arboretum where we display all the trees planted throughout the county by the Burley County Soil Conservation. So this year the Minokin Farm is going to do things a little bit differently. We're planning to do a series of short videos out at the Minokin Farm throughout the course of the season so that you guys can stay in touch with what we're doing and what we've got going on here. So with that we'll get into our first video. Hope you enjoy. Alright so here I am in field 3 out at the Minokin Farm. But before I get too much into this, let me give you a little bit of history about this field. Field 3 has been Minokin Farms control field since 2009. This field is the only field at Minokin Farm that gets full inputs. Not only does it get full inputs, but it's also been in continuous wheat since 2009 as well. This fall we did extensive soil testing on all of the fields out here at Minokin Farm. And after looking at the data, we discovered that the biology of this soil was basically non-existent. So after 11 years of full inputs and continuous wheat, we basically eliminated the life of this soil. The weird thing about it is that both fields on each side of this field were thriving in biology. So we brought this information to our board and we discussed about it at a few meetings and we determined that now that we have basically eliminated all the life in the soil, we wanted to see how long it would take us to bring this soil back. So with the help of our neighbor, we brought in 240 head of cattle to bale graze on the east half of this field. Let me tell you guys, these cows did an amazing job. There is manure, urine, and hay residue all over this field. So you may be wondering, well, why did we only bale graze on half of the field? Well, that's the other cool thing about this, is that this summer, we are going to be coming in here and seeding a highly diverse warm season cover crop on the entire field. That way we're giving this field two things that it has never had before. Diversity and livestock integration. But now we get to see in just one year how much those things can make a difference. On the west side of the field with just high diversity and on the east side of the field with high diversity and intensive livestock integration. Here at the Minokin Farm, we do realize that building soil health takes quite some time and more than a year. But we may be able to see little improvements in just one year doing these practices. Um, I'm pretty excited about what's going to happen with this field and I will definitely be revisiting it as the year goes on to keep you guys updated. So that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys like this video and want more short videos like this, please let me and the board know by hitting that like button. I look forward to bringing you guys new updates throughout the season of what we've got going on at Minokin Farm. Hope you enjoyed.